Okay. Oh, okay. My name is Bea Bliesmann Guevara. I'm a professor of international politics at Aberystwyth University in the UK, and I'm also the uh, principal investigator of the Creating Safer Space Research Network. It's uh, an international network. Um, we were funded by the UK Research and Innovation for four years, and this is now um, one of the culminations is this conference here. We funded 26 projects in 11 countries, in uh, low and middle income countries, um, from Latin America to Africa, the Middle East and Southeast Asia. And our main focus is on unarmed civilian protection and community self-protection, so really the power of the power and the agency that civilians have in protecting themselves and protecting them others in situations of violent conflict and displacement and violences of different kind, really. So we work in very many different countries across the globe and I think what they all have in common is that violence is not a one-off event but it's quite, um, uh, sometimes it takes decades and uh, people are still able to come up with ways of um, creating safer communities for themselves and um, thereby kind of creating possibilities to actually enter into dialogue and, and creating safer space also for peace to happen. So I think it's really important. Um, Peace negotiations happen at different levels and so on, but if people are not involved, um, then nothing can, can happen in terms of peace. So creating safer spaces at the bottom of that, and people are at the heart of that. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. My, my, my name is uh, Professor Gordon Crawford from the uh, Centre for Peace and Security at Coventry University in the UK. And um, I'm part of the, the team of researchers uh, that have worked on the uh, project in Cameroon. So this is looking at um, unarmed civilian protection uh, in the Anglophone conflict. In Cameroon, so we're a team of UK-based and uh, Cameroonian researchers and civil society organisations, and um, very much as Professor Berrett was was outlining, we take a, uh, a bottom-up approach to unarmed civilian protection. So we've done research with uh, civilians um, from some of the the most conflict-affected communities in um, the northwest and southwest regions of, uh, of Cameroon where the, uh, the, the conflict is, uh, is ongoing and we've um, documented their diverse uh, approaches and measures that they have taken in order to protect themselves and their, their families and their communities. And we've, we've come up with a, a real range of, of different protection strategies, um, which really shows that local people um, who are affected by conflict are not just uh, passive victims, um, but they are, they are really active agents in, uh, in protecting themselves and their communities. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Dr. Nancy Annan, and I am also a colleague with Professor Gordon at the Center for Peace and Security at, at Coventry University. And this is also our partner from Cameroon, um, Dr. Bernard Saka, uh, who has been with us. Um, just to add a little to what Gordon said, I think that one of the key things that stood out for us in our research was the agency of the local people how they are able to protect themselves, the resilience they have in protecting themselves in the face of violence and doing so non-violently. So this tells you that you can stop 
conflict, you can deal with conflict issues non-violently, and that is what we are promoting in this project. How do we use non-violent means to stop violence? And also, how do we enable civilians to protect themselves in the way that they, uh, the mechanisms that they use? And I think that that has stood out clearly for us in our project in Cameroon. The Anglophone civilians have demonstrated resilience and the ability to protect themselves and their fellow civilians non-violently. Exactly, and in the Cameroon case, in the Anglophone conflict case, is a very tricky and a complex one. Um, the role of the government in this case is a, is a bit tricky, and it's something that we are looking at. But what for us is important is the civilian and the, uh, the community groups, the agency in, 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 in enabling a protective and a safer space um, for, the, for their own people. And I think that that is what is being key for us. And, and, and so we are advocating for focus on the people. The heart of protection is, 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 is with the people and what they are doing. And I think more attention needs to be given to that. How do we leverage those homegrown mechanisms of protection that they are using to enable a wider protection for our civilians in the Anglophone region? And I think that is what is key.